This is a narration of the special commentary, The Birth of Fifth of Fist of the North Star, from Fist of the North Star re-release volume 1. It's been over 37 years since Fist of the North Star was born. 37 years ago, I was a young editor at Shinoisha Weekly Shonen Jump magazine, assigned to work with a young Tetsuhara. Back then, Hara and I were exploring a new series with martial arts as its theme, and there was no better theme to make the most of Hara's powerful style. However, as a shonen title, we desperately wanted to make it have a signature technique. We were worried that without one, it would end up being like any other title for adolescents and a potential dud. We worked on coming up with a signature technique night and day. Then one day, I wandered into a Chinese bookstore in Suzuran Street in Jimbocho. I wasn't looking for anything in particular, and looking back now, I never could have guessed how Lady Luck would smile on us that day. Anyway, I found a book with a red cover. I picked it up, opened it, and found an anecdote about a medical student in China. It was nothing particularly interesting. The student, absorbed in the study of acupressure points, overly stimulated a point said to be helpful for eye issues, only to make the condition worse. This anecdote was extolled as an inspiring story. However, this unamusing anecdote gave me goosebumps. That's it, I thought. I'd found our signature move, destroying the body by striking acupressure points. This will allow someone small to easily take out a much bigger guy. It's perfect for a shonen title. I rushed to Hara's studio and passionately explained the idea to him, albeit with some exaggeration. I don't have to describe what happened after that. With Hara's almost godlike storytelling skills, Fist of the North Star was born. Any editor could suggest an idea of this level, but it's up to the artist's talent to make it work. I could only tip my hat to Hara's skill. And where did Hokuto from Hokuto no Ken come from? It was conceived from a Chinese consolation myth. The myth, in a nutshell, goes like this. There was a child in China who was sadly destined to die at age 19. A fortune teller told his father to offer wine and food to two sages playing Go under a mulberry tree on the southern edge of the wheat field. The father did just that and noticed the sages eating and drinking his offerings. The sages were the Hokuto and Nanto gods. The Hokuto god ruled death, while the Nanto god ruled life. In return for his offerings, the Nanto god flipped the number 19, written with the characters for 10 and 9, in his lifespan table to 90, written as 910. Then the Hokuto god pretended not to see the change. Thanks to that, the child grew up and lived to be 90 years old. After reading that myth, I thought to myself, Hokuto is the god that rules death, and Kenshiro is his son. That's why the martial art he uses is called Hokuto Shinken, the divine fist of the North Star. That is how I came up with the title, and the name of the martial art. Bronson Sensei, who later joined the team, wrote a brilliant script, and Fist of the North Star became a massive success. Looking back on it now, I'm so grateful to Hara and Buronson Sensei for graciously accepting my uncompromising and selfish methods. Nobahiko Horai. Thank you for listening. This was just a brief narration of the birth of Fist of the North Star from Fist of the North Star's special re-release, Volume 1. This is really interesting to me because it is a look at where the concepts and the inspiration for one of my favourite stories ever written came from. And I hope you appreciated my narration. I hope I did alright. There are some pretty difficult words to pronounce in this thing, and I hope I didn't mess any of them up. Anyway, thank you for listening.